in this video we are going to make a quadcopter using KK 2.1.5 as flight controller board so up to now we have worked with APM 2.8 so now we will see this KK so coming to KK board it is a straightforward board means we have to configure all the things on the board itself there is no USB and there is no software to configure this KK board so coming to the board description here it is having output side and this is input side at input side we have to connect our receiver and output side we should connect motors so by using this KK board we can make different configurations of multi rotors like bicopter, tricopter, hexacopter and quadcopter in quadcopter you can make plus and x but coming to this KK H configuration is not available on the board so we can select X configuration and we can configure this board using the X configuration next this is the onboard display in this display we are going to see the menu by using that menu we are going to configure the board this one is the main controller in which program is going to run so to update this program we have to use this header so by using an external programmer we can update the firmware present in the microcontroller and it is having 3 axis accelerometer and 3 axis gyro sensor so by using this accelerometer and gyro sensor the KK board is going to know the orientation and acceleration of the quadcopter so it is not having any barometer to maintain the altitude here you can see this is the buzzer indicator whenever the board is armed then buzzer will turn on so this is the battery connector so the future of this board is we can print or we can know the voltage of the lipo battery directly in the screen if you connect these two wires here now we will attach this KK board to the quadcopter or frame so in KK boards there are different versions are available like normal KK board which doesn't have any screen directly we can put it on the frame but those boards are used for specific configuration like quadcopter or tricopter but coming to this board we can configure different types of multi rotors by using the menu present in the firmware now we will turn on this board so to turn on this board there is no external power cable or power connector for this thing so to give the power we should take power from the ESC so here I am going to connect the ESC so the back side you can see we can make up to octocopter so 8 motors maximum we can connect similarly it is having 5 channel here auxiliary is optional it is not mandatory so aileron is connected to the channel 1 and elevator is connected to channel 2 here this aileron connected to the channel 1 elevator to channel 2 throttle to channel 3 of the receiver and rudder channel 4 coming to the motor directions so this is the first motor and this is the second third third one and fourth motor so we will connect the motors first so now I am going to connect the first motor so this is my first motor here you can see the indication signal 5 volts and ground so this white one is signal red one is VCC and black one is ground so this is how you have to insert the cable so after giving power to the ESC 
ESC will generate 5 volts for this board using these two wires now I am going to connect the second motor this one is the third so in previous videos we have already seen how to connect the motors to the frame and also ESCs so directly I am going to connect board to the quadcopter or frame so now I have connected 4 motors to output 1, output 2, output 3 and output 4 now we will interface the receiver so the operating voltage of the receiver is 5 volts we already know that so this is ground and this is VCC and this is the signal so ground is connected to the ground here you can see the indication this is the signal this is 5 volts and this is the ground so ground should connect to the ground and VCC should connect to the VCC next aileron is connected to channel 1 here you can see this yellow wire this is aileron which is connected to channel 1 next elevator or pitch it is connected to channel 2 similarly throttle for channel 3 and rudder for channel 4 so now we have connected our input device and output devices receiver and motor to the KK board now we will configure the board by connecting the battery so here I am going to use the battery so make sure that your transmitter is turned on here on board you can see it is showing, it is showing safe and self level is on we will see the self level later and also temperature and battery voltage so if I connect these two wires here this to the red connector it will print the battery voltage and also roll and pitch angles now we will go to menu the initial thing you, you have to do is go to menu and scroll down at the end you can find factory reset so click on enter so you have resetted the board so it is printing the gyro and accelerometer values that means xyz values now click on back go to back so now we are going to configure one by one first we will set the motor layout here you can see self level is off and here it is showing some error that is no motor layout so we have to put the quadcopter configuration so that this error is removed so first we will turn on the self level before turning on the self level first what is self level if you turn on the self level the quadcopter is going to balance on its own say for example if the self level is on at the time the quadcopter bend left automatically it is going to stabilize if you turn on the self level or otherwise you have to manually make the quadcopter stable by varying the sticks of the transmitter now I am going to turn on the self level go to menu this is the menu this is down and this is one up so click on menu go to mode settings you can find self level here self level can be turned on by auxiliary channel 
by using the fifth channel we can turn on the self level or otherwise you can use the sticks these sticks to turn on the self level so other feature is always if you select always the self level is turned on always so here i'm going to select always so here you can see self level is on means for every time the self level is turned on means automatically the quadcopter is going to make stable on its own now we will see the motor layout go to menu scroll down for the load motor layout option this is the load motor layout click on enter so here it will show some configurations like single copter dual copter tricopter quadcopter plus mode and quadcopter x mode so here we are making h configuration but we are not having h in the menu so simply select quadcopter x because quadcopter x mode is very similar to the h so i am going to select x it is asking for are you sure click on yes now it will show the direction of the four motors click on next so direction seen from the above so this is the first motor this motor should rotate in clockwise direction so here you can see clockwise direction this is the second motor it should rotate in anti clockwise direction and this one is the third it should rotate in clockwise direction here you can see the indication and the fourth motor fourth motor should rotate in anti clockwise direction click on next we are not going to use motor 5 so unused similarly motor 6 motor 7 and motor 8 so finally we selected the quadcopter x mode now still we got some error that is calibrate acc acc is nothing but accelerometer now we are going to calibrate the accelerometer click on menu go to accelerometer calibration here you can find the accelerometer calibration click on enter so before calibrating the accelerometer you have to place the board on level so click on accelerometer calibrate calibration now click on continue so it will take some 5 seconds to calibrate the accelerometer so accelerometer has been calibrated click on continue and go back now see so all errors are removed and we got safe that means the board is ready for arming so before go arming the board first you should check whether the board is receiving signals from transmitter or not so to check that go to menu and go to receiver test here you can see now i will vary the sticks on the transmitter and you can see the values changing here here you can see whenever i increase the throttle the throttle is going to increase you can focus on the throttle it is now 25 so the maximum throttle is 88 so my throttle is working fine similarly i will check my elevator so here you can see elevator is also working fine but you have to reverse the elevator channel so whenever i push the elevator channel down it is showing forward but it should show back that means by using the t6 software t6 config software i, I have to reverse the elevator channel so it's working fine but we have to reverse this channel next we will see the aileron 
so it's working fine whenever i push the aileron right it is printing right there and the values are changing similarly for left it's working it's printing left so that means this board is receiving the signals from the transmitter now we will arm the board and we, and we will check whether the motors are rotating correctly or not so do not place the board directly on the frame because short circuit may happen for that purpose we can use the case for the KK board now I am going to arm the board so to arm the board simply lower the stick and give the right rudder and wait for 5 seconds if it is not arming then do the same thing on left side because we have some chances of reversing the rudder stick so rudder stick has reversed here so that's why I'm going to make the same thing on the left side so board has armed so after arming the board here you will get a red indicator if you connect the buzzer the buzzer will get turned on so actually the board should arm when you hold the throttle stick at right side but it's not arming that means the channel has to be reversed here so I am arming the boat after that I will give the throttle and I will see the output of the motors so here you can see motors are not synchronized motor speed is not synchronized here all motors are not starting at the same time so the problem is we have to calibrate the ESCs Now we will calibrate the ESCs of the board. So for that purpose, first we have to remove the power supply, disarm the board, 